What's up, Aries, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of you guys out there are doing it well. So, Aries, this is going to be a twin flame reading, okay? I shuffle meditated on your card, so let's go ahead and get into this reading. If anything resonates for you guys, go ahead and like this video, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So, let's look at some twin flame angel numbers. So, Aries, you can be seeing the numbers 717 and 7117. This talks about a sexual union between twin flames, okay? So, this talks about you can be having some type of sexual union or sexual encounter with your twin, okay? This could happen in the next seven days, seven weeks or seven months, okay? Or if you've been feeling a little horny here, Aries, you've been wondering why, you know, your thing been rock hard, or women, why you've been a little bit more down there, it's because your twin has been sending you sexual energy, okay? You also could be seeing the numbers 444. This talks about your foundation is being tested at this time. You and your twin are both reaching a place of balance on this journey, okay? So you're trying to find a place of balance on this journey, okay? You're trying to become more grounded, more stable, on this twin flame journey, and so is your twin. All right, so let's go ahead and get into these messages. Okay, so we have, I can look into your eyes and tell you still love me, okay? So for some of you, it's like your twin doesn't even like to look you in your eyes because they know when you look into their eyes, you can you can tell how they feel, okay? So this talks about someone who possibly like hides their feelings or doesn't like to express their feelings, okay? So if your twin is someone that doesn't like to look you in your face, it's because they know you can read their emotions by looking at their eyes. Your twin is also saying, okay, they realize that they were very selfish in this connection, okay? They realize they were only focused on themselves. They weren't worried about your needs, how you felt. You know, none of that. They was only worried about what made them feel good or, you know, what they can do to please themselves. Then we have, I can't make you a priority right now, okay? So I feel like in this connection, you could have felt like your twin, like they ain't prioritized you, okay? It was like they put everything else before you, everybody, their mama and their dog, before you, Aries. And it was like, for some of you, the reason why this person can make you a priority is because there was a third party interference, okay? So this talks about your person could have been dealing with someone else, possibly before they even came into contact with you. So this could have been someone who just like was like, you know, in and out of relationships, or it was a third party that interfered with this connection, okay? We're going to pull some more messages, guys. It's getting good, okay? So your twin realized that they messed up. Whatever happened in this connection, your twin realized that it was their fault because they were being selfish. And for some of you, remember I said this third party interference, okay? It's this karma, okay? So this karma knows about you, and they told them everything, okay? So your twin is going to wind up telling this karmic everything about you. Now, whether they're going to tell the karmic about you willingly, we're going to find out and see. So for some of you, you could be in separation with your twin because we have here. I'm not letting you get away this time, okay? So if you're not in communication with your twin, if you're in separation with your twin, this person is saying, you know, whenever they come back, whenever they get their ish together, they're coming back for you, baby. So let's pull some messages here. We're going to see what this karma going to have to say, but let's pull some messages and see what's going on in this connection. So what messages do you have for my Aries today, Spirit? I love you, Aries. And remember, if anything resonates for you guys, go ahead and like this video. What messages do you have? Okay, so we have, I wish I would have met you first. Mm. So for some of you guys, it sounds like this person possibly could have been like in some type of long-term committed relationship. Or for some of you, this person even could have been married, okay? And it's like... It's like they're comparing you with this karmic or whomever this person is that they're dealing with. And they're like, man, I wish I would have met Aries first. Like, shit, it wouldn't even been no problem. Then we have, I'm trying to find the right words to say, okay? So your twin could be, like, writing messages and deleting them. Or it's like they want to reach out to you and communicate with you. But it's like they can't find the right words to say, okay? They want to make sure whatever they have to say to you, like, it's the right thing. So this could be someone that, like, never really communicated their feelings, and it's like they're having a hard time just trying to figure out. Okay, for some of you, you could have been dealing with someone that likes to please everybody, okay? This is like a people pleaser. And it makes them feel good and to feel wanted and needed, okay? So your twin could have been very insecure with themselves. And it was like they, they was a people pleaser because it made them feel good to please everyone else. But it was like they wasn't worried about, you know, if their needs were getting met. Then we have, I made the wrong choice. What we have here, I wish I would have met you first. Thank you, Spirit, for that confirmation. This person is realizing now that they made the wrong choice, okay? So if they went towards this karmic, or if they chose a karmic over you, they're realizing that they made the wrong choice. 
Then we have, I dealt with multiple people, so I didn't have to deal with my pain. Okay, so remember I said this person could have been someone that was like in and out of your life, okay? And it's like this person, they dealt with multiple people because they didn't want to deal with whatever pain they needed to heal from. And you are the best sex they ever had, Aries, okay? So let's pull up from this karma. Let's see what this karma got to say about this connection. Let's put these over here. Because we do know a karma is involved. There is a third party. So what messages do you have for my Aries today, Spirit? What does this karma have to say? What messages do you have for my Aries today, Spirit? Okay. Okay, so this karma wants you guys to know that they have history together, okay? So thank you, Spirit, again for that confirmation. Remember I said earlier, they could have been married to this person or in some type of long-term committed relationship. This could have been, you know, someone they had a child with. And then we have, we don't want anyone to know we're separated. Okay, so yes, for some of you, your person could have been married to someone. It's like when you met your twin, they were actually separated from this karmic. But it was like, this karmic and, this, and your twin, it's like they want to make themselves seem like the picture-perfect family, right? So it's like whenever they separated or whatever happened in this connection, it's like they didn't really tell nobody that they're separated. Oh, wow. I'm pregnant, but I'm not sure if he's the father. So some, one of these karmics is saying, Aries, that they're pregnant, okay? But they, they're they saying they don't even know if your twin is the father, okay? So for some of you, this person could be trying to tell. I feel like they trying to tell this person or tell your twin that they are the father just to keep them around. I am not the only karmic in this life, okay? So for some of you, this your twin and, and the karmic they were dealing with or whatever, this could have been someone like they was messing with other people and your twin was messing with other people too. Like if they was in a marriage, this was like an open marriage, if they was in a relationship, they were just doing their own thing. I still love them and refuse to let them go. So this karmic is saying like, I feel like this karmic wants to fight for your twin. You know what I'm saying? This person still saying they still love your twin and they ain't letting them go without a fight. I know he's trying to make a decision. What do we have here? I made the wrong choice. So this karmic is saying they can feel like your twin's energy shifting, okay? And they realize like this person has a lot on their mind. And I feel like this your twin is realizing they made the wrong choice when they chose this karmic. And now this karmic is realizing that your twin now could be possibly trying to make a decision between you and them. So let's see what signs you guys are dealing with here. Okay, so we have Taurus, Cancer, Cancer, and Pisces. All right, Virgo, that's all I have. Please like, share, and subscribe.